The first example is a classic case, the corner of a building at 90 degrees, but the two roofs have uh, uh, different slopes. So the first step is to trace a line perpendicular to the hip rafter on the plan view here and at the intersection of the eaves line here. On each side, side of the hip rafter you have to trace the width of the hip rafter timber, in this case 100 mm. That gives us two points, one here and one here. And each of these points has to be projected on the eave line with a line parallel to the eave line of the other roof. Here. And this line now is parallel to the eave of this roof. After that, you can trace the faces of the hip rafter on the plan view. And you can check that the width of your hip rafter is good.